In this video, you're going to see some of the best activities, food, and spots to take epic pictures near Mount Fuji. This is my new favorite day trip from Tokyo, the Fuji Yoshida area in Yamanashi Prefecture. In no particular order, let's start with the first spot, Lake Bay Cafe. This is by far my favorite cafe in Japan. It doesn't get any better than indulging in freshly baked goods with a cup of coffee, blue skies, clean air, and all while having an unobstructed view of the beautiful Mount Fuji. Hard to beat having soup in this cold weather while getting a great view of Fujisan as you saw. Yeah, it's really good. I just got regular coffee. Very smooth coffee. This is the teriyaki chicken pizza. Let's try this out. Mm. They don't overdo the teriyaki sauce, which is quite nice. He's getting this cheese bread. Inside onion soup. I'd say this is a good stop. Second spot, Honto Street. Extremely popular location to take pictures of Mount Fuji. This is one of the most iconic spots to take photos out here, so I'll definitely put the information in the description box below. Definitely stop by here. Third spot, Saiko Iyashi no Sato Nemba. So I made it to my next stop here at Saiko Iyashi no Sato Nemba here in Yamanashi. Um, as you can see, I think Fuji Sanso around here, it's super beautiful. It's snow capped, the air is pristine, and it's just a beautiful place to just walk around and kind of get a little glimpse of what traditional Japan was like back in the day. They have a lot of different Japanese crafts. I think I like pottery. Uh, you could kind of rent uh, kimonos and some samurai gear as well. Maybe for the kids, that'd be kind of cool. If you have a chance, definitely check this place out. Fourth spot, Fusuan. So for everyone, so I arrived at Fusuan. This is a traditional Japanese sweets restaurant. They also have soba, but um, I came here for some Japanese dessert. And I'm gonna be trying their shiruko, which is a fresh sweet red bean with some mochi. Uh, it's gonna be quite nice. And also I'm gonna be having amitsu, which is a dessert with some jelly. It has some fresh fruit and also some sweet red bean. Amitsu is actually, it has a little bit of like a sweet black syrup on top. Okay, you guys, so this is the Anmitsu here. They have some kiwi, they have some pineapple, peach, they got a tangerine, and apple. They also have some mochi balls in here. It's quite the assortment. And everything looks super fresh. You can see that jelly with that vanilla ice cream and some red bean. Oh, my gosh, you must see my set. Wish you this. <laughs> 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 and the lady is really nice too. She just poured some fresh green tea. Perfect compliment to a Japanese snack. Nothing overpowers anything. Everything complements each other really nicely. It's not too sweet. So next, I'm gonna be trying shiriko, which is another traditional Japanese dessert. Uh, sweet red bean with a nice mochi cake inside as well. I'm gonna try this sweet red bean soup. This mochi cake. It's kind of roasted quite nicely. You can still see that steam just coming off of that. Nice and soft. 
I'm gonna taste it with some red bean. Just super simple Japanese dessert. Basically, it's kind of like red bean mochi, but the red bean is kind of like in a soup, and the mochi is kind of on its own, and it was roasted, obviously. It has a little bit of that char flavor. Yeah, this is really good. Definitely come here if you want a dessert, especially if it's traditional style Japanese. Definitely worth the trip. Fifth spot. Oishi Park. What's up everyone? So this is my next stop. I am at Oishi Park. This is another very popular stop to get some nice pictures of Mount Fuji. And you can see these round little plants actually turn red. And that's why it's so popular. Right now it's winter, so they're kind of dark green and they lack color, but um, yeah, this is a very famous pop to come to, so definitely check this out when you're out here in this area. It's beautiful, and obviously, another beautiful spot to take pictures of Mount Fuji. Sixth spot, Mishima Skywalk. Okay, so I made it to Mishima Skywalk, and this is the longest suspended bridge here in Japan, and when we get across, there'll also be a zip line that I'm super excited about, my first zip line, so let's go. Here we go. Okay guys, that was the first one. Now I'm on to the second one, which is the last one. As you can see, it's a beautiful view. You can see Mount Fuji right there. It was uh, 2,000 yen per person, which is not bad, I feel like, for the experience, the beautiful view. Yeah, it seemed like everybody around me was enjoying it as well, so definitely check this place out if you can. That concludes this trip. Um, I'll put all the information in the description box below, and please hit that like button and subscribe for more travel and food content, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you, guys.